Point Nepea National Park is regarded as one of the most beautiful destinations in the state. More than 500 hectares of coastal land at the tip of Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. The problem is, it needs more visitors. In a bid to attract larger numbers of cashed up tourists, the state government is opening up the park to commercial redevelopment. The objectives here is to, um, I guess, grow the site um, based on it's going from a, a closed place. Um, a huge potential to somewhere that's vibrant and relevant to, um, to all parts of the community. Day trippers come to Point Nepean to explore its military forts, walking trails, or to see where Prime Minister Harold Holt went missing. But what many people might not know is there are dozens of buildings in the park that have been locked up for years. There's a real period of firsts and, and new access and new opportunities that uh, have been established and then getting these buildings used is the, next, um, is the next stage. The plan is to demolish some and rejuvenate others. Like this historic structure, where first-class passengers were once quarantined on arrival to Victoria. Soon it could be a luxury hotel with views to more than rival those of nearby Portsea mansions. There's also the former medical superintendent's house from 1890. Another possibility for high-end accommodation. The master plan even suggests a backpacker hostel, a tertiary campus, or restaurants. Another proposal is to build a boat jetty on the site of the original pier which brought immigrants ashore. This way, tour groups from other beaches around the peninsula could easily access the area. The government insists that any new development will be contained to this area, about 17 hectares of land around the old quarantine station, which currently has about 50 heritage listed buildings. But so far, feelings are mixed. Point Nepean shouldn't have to adapt to those uses. Those uses have to adapt to what Point Nepean offers them now. And if, it's, if the government decides they want to get rid of those sorts of offerings that Point Nepean has and replace it with something grand in, in terms of high-rise development, that's really just going completely away from what um, Point Nepean's potential is and it's just replicating many experiences that people could have anywhere else around Australia or the world. To sort of let those buildings deteriorate and go out of existence would be ridiculous. Yeah. So something's got to be done with them. And, um, you know, the idea of a boutique hotel, whether it's inhabited by the super rich or not, is not, is not really the point. The point is that if you want to preserve historical areas, historical buildings, there's got to be some way of doing it. Private investors will be asked to lodge expressions of interest over the next few weeks. And while the government insists no plans will be ticked off unless they maintain Point Nepean's heritage and fit strict environmental guidelines, time will tell if that's enough to preserve one of Victoria's most loved national parks.